At the end of a long political week, we're bringing top journalists to make sense of it all. Betsy Woodruff is a political reporter with The Daily Beast, and Melinda Hennenberger is editor-in-chief at Roll Call. Melinda, the GOP debate last night took on a sober tone, as I did. said that they were using their inside voices last <laughs> night. That's what I tell my kids. What is happening? Why is Donald Trump turning that way as opposed to the bombastic debater we're used to seeing. I was wondering if they'd gotten calls from their moms saying, <laughs> please don't make it look like you were raised by wolves. Uh, I think there was a general sense that after the last debate before this in particular, that they really needed to rein it in and that it was making the whole party and all of them, with the exception of John Kasich, really look foolish. So, but, but Trump, we've seen him pivoting for a minute now where he's really saying, you know, I had to be nasty to win. And now I'm presidential. I, yes, I'm and he has said, and I, you know, I know this may not appeal to women in particular, but sort of saying I'm not really like, I'm not really that guy. Right. Well, like, speaking of women, um, let's turn to you, Betsy Woodruff. The Washington, report, uh, Washington Post, rep Post reports that a Breitbart reporter, Michelle Fields, was grabbed by a by Trump's campaign manager and thrown to the ground. And this is something that the Trump campaign completely denies happened. You are close friends with her. What happened? Yeah, I am close friends with her, so I can't be fully objective on this stuff. That said, the Washington Post report said she was almost thrown to the ground. She didn't actually fall down. She was knocked off balance. Um, her forearm was bruised. Since then, this morning, it's been reported that she filed charges with local police. Uh, she filed a police report, and local police are investigating allegations of misdemeanor battery that happened at the time and place. Um, so it's it's been a, a huge media story. Michelle's publication initially said they supported her 100%, and then this morning they published a piece that was basically like a Zapruder film rereading, where they said, well, maybe actually this didn't happen. Maybe Michelle isn't right about what happened to her. So in the media world, um, including at my publication, there's a high level of shock uh, and, and her skepticism. Is up Melinda, her. we have seen over and over again uh, at Trump rallies um, that people uh, get to fisticuffs and uh, right. people are thrown to the ground, and yet, and, and attacks on women, um, Trump does that himself, yet he is still winning the women vote. Slightly. In Florida, though, it is surprising. He is ahead by two points with women in Florida. So, and he's running at parity in general with women, which you wouldn't necessarily think. I sent a bunch of reporters out to the CPAC, to the uh, conservative conference last week, to talk to women in particular. And of course there were mixed opinions, but there were a number of conservative women saying, he can't represent me, you know, this isn't conservative, the way he treats women. And certainly in the general election, if he is pivoting, the way he's talked about Megyn Kelly, the things he says about women in particular, you know, in general, I think can be a real problem for him going forward him when forward, he says, right. I'm, the women are going to love me, I cherish them. He, he may need to reconsider the person who's running his campaign. Okay, right. Well, we have to leave it there. Melinda Hennenberger, editor-in-chief of Roll Call, Betsy Woodruff with The Daily Beast. Thank you for joining us.